Right now, I just want to get back home. Get healed. Get the mana back up. And then get the map fixed. Yep. One of the big things No Hope does specifically is vastly decrease the uh, house kitchen loot. And then it goes specifically after a lot of the guaranteed loot locations that players like to lean on. <clears throat> so it clears out a lot of the hardware stores and all the places you go normally that you, you just have memorized. It pretty much removes all of those. <laughs> Also, pretty much no working vehicles anywhere in the world. Very little gas other than, weirdly, that one mine we went and found that had a lot of it. And a few other things. It's a hard mode <clears throat> type of mod. Takes away a lot of the, uh, the easy mode stuff that the base game has. Alright, we made it home. Let's go ahead and circle around the home, make sure... Wandering Hordes hasn't brought any new visitors, which it shouldn't, now that we've fairly well cleared it out over a few days. There's no zombies really in the area for the Wandering Horde to pick up and redeposit. <clears throat> Alright, uh, last I remember, I did not have any food on the smoking racks. Okay. Back to the basement. What'd we bring home? Scroll of Toxtricity. We gotta learn that. Uh, very little in the way of meds. Don't need to carry that. And I only need one of those. Maple syrup. Oh, I discovered maple syrup sells pretty good. I think a single bottle of maple syrup was, oh crap, what was it, 15 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. So I got to go hit up the, uh, the, the, the sugar shacks, grab some more maple syrup. All right, we're going to keep that and uh, do a little bit of testing. I guess that was it, really. All right, read this thing. Yes, learn it. You learned Toxtricity. It's probably one I have to have an enemy target for, so I probably can't just cast it. Uh, Toxtricity. Valid targets. Ally, hostile. Ooh, I can, I can electrocute myself? <laughs> I can electrocute the ground? Radius, a range of six, radius of one. All right, cast it. Oh, I see. Uh, L. What is our percent chance? Really, we haven't succeeded yet. There we go. All right, something clicked. You cast it successfully, you gained a level. All right, so tell me about this thing. Let's actually, let's look at this version first. Toxtricity. So we're at 50% fail rate. Almost 400 mana. Damn. Range of 7, radius 1, 1 electric, 1 second. And it costs 3 seconds to cast the damn thing. All right. Hmm. Pretty expensive. All right, next up, show me this one. So, uh, range six, point six per level, up to a maximum level 21, huh? That's why we're up to seven. It's a uh, rounding. AOE is going to... Oh, the AOE is going to increase also. So probably at uh, the next level, it'll be AOE 2. So that's going to be... You're going to be able to put a vast... Kind of a large circle target down on the ground. 
Minus 11 casting cost per level. Max level 125 and 150. Yeah, sure. Sure. All right. I, it sounds interesting. I probably put a little bit of time into it. Difficulty 5. Now, we're very limited in what spells we have because of the aforementioned uh, problem with the cities not generating the buildings. I've had no access to new spells other than the forge, really, and that one scroll we just found. All right, we'll put that away for the moment. Uh, I wanted to... Let's see. I don't have a computer. Um... And I have no SSD cards. So we activate our Thraxivorm Grimoire. Manage external storage onto a USB drive. Copy from device to the card. Copied 10 books to the USB drive. All right. Sounds about right. So does this mention it? It does. Contains 117 unique recipes from 10 stored ebooks. So that means I can just leave the USB backup here in the basement and then keep the uh, grimoire with me as I'm running around. And since I know it's not going to get wiped because the EMP is only in a couple of places, I guess I'm not as worried about it. It's one of the things we were going to do is run up to um, a couple of local libraries. And uh, I was just going to park. We got two libraries on the outskirts of town right here. So I was going to run up there, loot the libraries, just park in the field out here, and then uh, digitize the books, and then just go home and leave the books, not carry them with me. We need the digitized versions just because we are extremely, extremely low carry weight. I mean, extremely low carry weight. So we got to be ultra cautious about every single thing we pick up and take around with us. So it varies by book. Depends on how many pages the book has, <clears throat> how long it takes. We tested it. It took like, I think it ranged from like 15 minutes to 45 minutes or something. So, yeah, I guess we should grab the toxicity. Uh, now I have to redo the update, too. <laughs> All right, so activate Grimoire, Storebook, Scroll of Toxicity, and it is done. Activate Grimoire, Manage, USB Drive, Copy. Uh-oh. So it copied one. I assume that didn't overwrite. That just did the uh, the change. Or did it actually remove? Does it actually move them from one device to the other? So are they gone from this one? No, it still has everything. 11 stored ebooks. All right. So it just copied over the one missing one. Do you say 11? You say 11. All right, that works. Cool. So again, USB drive and scroll. All right, moderate pain. Let's go ahead and get our cure light going again. Back to full, 800 to go, 1400. Um, We have 26 more smoked meat. I can get a couple of those and some almonds and oh, some seeds. Satisfied and turgid. <clears throat> oh, I'm tempted on that scroll of toxicity again. That's kind of interesting to me. What were we working on? 
I got Magic Missile up to an acceptable level. It took, what, two shots to drop that uh, Zapter? I think I would have to get like four or five more levels to get it down in one shot. Two is pretty acceptable. It's only like a hundred. Uh, one shot per, per round, so I'm okay with two. 100 mana and two rounds to get rid of one of those things. Yeah, that's that's good. I forget what I was working on, though. Was it the healing? We got Cure Light to three. I think it was the healing. I wanted to bring it up just a couple more levels, I think. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Gained a level. Grimoire... All right, so now your light, 4% fail chance, still 800 mana, but we're getting 10 healing. That's per limb, and that's like a third of my, my health. <laughs> so I forget, what was our max health again? No, we were at like 50 something, I think. Uh, do, do, do. Ah, not health, hit points. What are you doing, Vorm? Yeah, 58. And then 46 for our head. Does being overweight lower your carrying weight? Not that I'm aware of. <clears throat> if anything, actually, doesn't it? Oh, I remember something about weight in the new system. Was it the reverse? Ugh, I can't remember now. Super glass cannon? Oh, this is not a super glass cannon build. Heck no. My mouse runs are super glass cannon builds. My my super mouses that have... Uh, what is it? 18 hit points everywhere and 15 hit points on the head. <laughs> Something like that. Those are fun. That's when you're living large. <clears throat> Although, under the new rules, it's pretty rough. Okay. Um, what to do? So, inventory-wise, I'm not changing anything. I do need to get some tailoring skill at some point. Get some repairs done on a couple of items. Um, keeping all the items. Oh yeah, the uh, don't need the two bottles of maple syrup. And we're waiting until day what was it? Day seventy-five before we head back to the forge. I think it was. So keep working on spellcraft. Tome of Flesh. Get the grotesque. Yeah, let's get a little grotesque. Oh, let's go four hours, and we'll go to our usual midnight sleep time. Oh, we got spellcraft increase. And another level. Cool. So, grotesque enhancement, 32% fail chance. It's coming down, 235 mana and 221. Synaptic's naptic's up over right near 10 minutes. Bless is two minutes, so it uh, levels faster than Bless does, or uh, the duration goes up faster. All right, might be a point where I want to do all three of those.
Multivitamin for us. Scandal out. In phase door telefrag? I don't believe so. But it's been forever since I did magicalism, so I'm not sure exactly the rules for it in that regard. All right, eight in the morning, good time frame. Uh, let's do the thing that we need to do. So I'm going to put a save in here and I'm actually going to make a backup real quick. So we will uh, quick save. <clears throat> Give me a moment to copy the actual save folder because we're about to get funky with it. Copying 15,000 items. <laughs> mm. Yeah, good old antsy. One of the many joys of this run. <laughs> 60 focus. Hey, but it's trending to 67. <laughs> Is that uh, lovely, lovely malted milk ball and chocolate candy we ate? Trending to 82. Ooh, wow. Okay, uh, so yeah, let's get funky. So we need to uh, do a few things. And this is going to be a little weird because, for example, Scarborough, I don't have completely mapped in. So we're going to take a few liberties here. But um, we need to add some buildings. We got robbed because apparently when you, uh, when you run both Magiclism and No Hope together, uh, something about No Hope causes us to not generate any of the magic-related buildings inside the cities. So we're missing four different buildings that should be appearing that are not. So I'm going to seed a few out here and there uh, at the different cities that we've got at least fairly well uncovered. And um, then we'll go raid them and, you know, do, do the stuff. So yeah, we, we got quite a few of them fairly well uncovered. And uh, we got we got no options. I don't know if it's the mod list ordering issue. I talked about that, and uh, it's a possibility. I didn't actually test that this morning. <clears throat> Doesn't make any difference for the current world I'm in now. But uh, you know, if somebody wants to go test that, feel free. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's kind of go the order we we appeared in the world in here. Roughly, we'll start up here. Pop a few things into this place. Uh, unfortunately, if I don't know if some of this stuff should be in the commercial districts. So I know in residential we should have the wizard towers. Those are basically home versions for wizards. Uh, but beyond that, a used bookstore maybe? We got a fair... Uh, I mean, we got Pittsfield here uncovered, I guess, so... So let's drop a few wizard towers into some residential areas. <clears throat> I'm not likely to come all the way back up here, actually. Let, let's let's do this more realistically. I'm not going to go up there anyway. Why bother wasting time? <laughs> Later, uh, after I have exhausted more local options, then I might seed out a few more. So let's say closest to home, I guess. So home is here. So we've got Scarborough. We got uh, a number of the spaces available. So like we got a field right here. We could drop something in, or I could replace a forest. All right, let's um, let's put a used bookstore right in here. That kind of thing. So we're gonna go uh, map over map editor. 
Do 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 do. Uh, I don't remember where I said. We'll just do this one. Uh, special used bookstore. Oof. Uh, I can't even tell where the cursor's at. <laughs> where the hell's the cursor? Uh, is it the B? It's the B. All right. So I can't put it in the red, but we'll just put it right here. Use bookstore there. And um, I think I'll do one more on the far side of town. And we'll call that good. I don't know if it keeps the cursor at the location I'm highlighting already. Uh, let's make it harder. Let's let's put it like right in uh, right here. Actually, bookstores are supposed to be commercial. Um and eh, we'll go up here. Yeah, it is staying on the spot I got highlighted. All right, so we got two used bookstores. Let's do a wizard's tower. Oh, I don't know. Let's put the tower like over here, someplace obnoxious. Uh oh, multiple versions of wizard tower. I don't know. I guess we'll do a wizard's tower one. And um. I think that's it. Let's drop another wizard's tower down over here, though. Oh, uh, it's pretty much all residential. Let's just drop it here. And we'll do the other version. All right, so I don't, f I think I'm going to not put a used bookstore in here. It's a pretty small area. Let's, um, let's see. Wizard's Towers are supposed to be the most prolific. Um, with our limited amount of space that I've got uncovered that we can drop. <laughs> fungal flowers. Yeah, let's put a fungal, let's put, let's put something right here, right next to the fungal flowers. Oh, that's right next to the bookstore. Now nah, let's not do that. I wish I had more of this exposed. Maybe I'll try to get more of this uncovered and then we'll uh, we'll fill it in. We got a couple spots so far. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do this one. All right, this one definitely, we need some stuff. So we'll do a uh, tower right here. And a uh, magic shop. Let's drop a magic shop in. And any other empty spots? What over here? We put another used bookstore. I have, oops, I have no academies yet. Put an academy in, like, right here. All right, what else? Uh, we got one magic shop in, academy, bookstores, towers. Um... I think that'll be it for that one. We'll throw like a bookstore somewhere in here. All right, we'll toss a few in here and we'll call that good for now. Uh, let's do a tower. And... Bookstore.
door. And let's toss one more academy in somewhere. All right, that's it. No more. Yeah, we do need to have the conversation uh, in the nearest future about what materials in particular I'm supposed to be going after. I mentioned at the beginning of the series that uh, the goal of the series, we are a kidnapped... Master Mage Bird Mutant guy kidnapped from another dimension by the evil Zedra scientists and uh, forced to work here in this dimension. So our goal is to get home. We have to create that gate that allows you to teleport around, but we have to do it with additional materials that makes it not just a gate within our own dimension, but it actually crosses the dimensional boundary and lets us go home. So we need to come up with a list of items that I have to have in addition to building the gate. So I'll, I'll get everything I need for the gate, get it built, and then if I have done that and I have the additional items, then the game, the, the, the run will be over. So some artifacts to power it is one of the main first ideas I had. Um, just used for the as a power source. Doesn't matter what artifacts they are, I just got to get a hold of artifacts. Uh, so I was thinking four artifacts, and then after that I didn't really have... Uh, I have too many set things that I was going to try to do. So just keep them in mind. Don't throw them at me right now. We, we still got a long way to go still. So, uh, But we're in a position now where we're actually starting to move around a bit. And it might become an issue if I leave something that I could have picked up. So uh, tell you what, on, on next on Monday stream, we'll officially do the list. So get your list together over the weekend. And on Monday stream, uh, right at the start. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, get the list put together for sure. So, preferably not things like Demon Spider Queen Heart. <laughs> you know, preferably not that kind of thing. Black Dragon Left Testicle. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Do, do, do. While I was doing all that, you guys were chatting about stuff. What were you chatting about? Oh, no. I have an MP3 player. We're, we're running the MP3 player. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Get revenge on the Zedra scientists. We're going to encounter a few of them in our, our meanderings, I'm sure. So we'll, we'll get a little bit of ours back. Okay, I think I'm all caught up. Uh, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, we got our little base. Our little base is all fine and stuff. We got our food preservation stuff. Uh, we were unsuccessful in luring a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Back to my home base. Um, oh. Is this the Steam version? It is not. The Steam version is the 0.g stable version. I have not, nor ever will, play a stable version of Cataclysm. None of my videos are done using stable versions. None of my tutorials are done using stable versions. I have just don't care about stable versions. <clears throat> we like to uh, ride the razor edge of experimental. I update right before I go live every stream. Unless I know there's something crazy going on in the current experimental build, and then I might push it off until the next stream. But basically, I update two, to, two, two times a week, right before each stream. Been doing it for six years now, and I've never once lost a, a run or a stream because of experimental issues totally breaking my run. Partially breaking, yes, but we can usually work around things. <laughs> ah, there's nothing dangerous about it. It's good times, good times. 
Okay, what are we going to do? More magic training. Uh, another couple of days before I want to go to the forge, and we don't have anything really to show for it. Do we go chasing some of the magic stuff we just uh, we just brought into the world? What note did I put over here? No, oh, yeah. 91 water in the basement and electronics room. Well, the trick to playing experimental build and not having problems is, you know, don't play with mods. It's the mods that are 90% of the time causing the issues people tell me they complain about for experimental. All I can do is point to literally thousands of hours of me live streaming it in front of an audience and not having the problems that other people like to complain about. <clears throat> so, I don't know. The number of times I've had to revert to a, a save... Uh, is I can count on one hand after all of those thousands of hours of play. <clears throat> it's usually conflicts between mods and experimental branch. That's what'll get you in trouble. The mod authors can't keep up with the experimental updates and things very quickly get wonky and broke. And then everybody loses their crap or their, their saves get corrupted or all sorts of other weird stuff. All right. Uh, what else was on the list? What else? I needed to get. I still need to get some. I need to get some tailoring training done. Let's get that done. I got to get some basic stuff done real quick. So let's go back to the candle. And where are we? P colon tailoring. What are we working on? I don't have all of the tools yet. I don't think. Uh oh, we're tailoring one. Oh my god, tailoring one. I can't use gloves, but I can take them apart again. Do I care? I don't really care. I got plenty of all this raw material. Mm, yeah, let's make some XL arm warmers. Who knows? Actually, do we have a... Uh, tailoring practice? Eh, sort of. Owing. No Nomax. <laughs> Knitting. Stretch fabric. <laughs> Stretch fabric. 20 thread, 40 Nomex, uh, or, okay, so 20 thread and lycra sheet. All right, let's do some stretch fabric. That sounds fun. That'll raise our tailoring. I guess we could do garment closures too. I got plenty of buttons and thread and patches. Yeah, let's just do garment closures. I know that's going to be used on things more. Uh, yeah, thread's fine. Yeah, whatever. Sure. Nope, keep going. Nope. Uh, actually, was that three? No. Uh, hey, tailoring three. All right, that was quick. Uh, I need a couple more levels. We're not going to get that off of tailoring practice anymore, right? Not without getting um, advanced proficiencies. Advanced polymer sewing. Still won't take me above three. Do, do, do. Leather, oh, leather working, four. Look at that. But again, it takes a bunch of principles. All right, we're not going to worry about that. Let's go back to the tried and true method of just making stuff. Boonie hats. Yes, I love boonie hats. Make me a boonie hat. We made it to four. One more level will make me happy. Uh, whoops. Now, unfortunately, we jump because I'm missing what? Tools or raw materials? Leather parts? Yeah, I haven't been grabbing any leather parts. Bones, leather parts. Weird stuff. Seven raincoats. <laughs> I didn't bring any felt sheets. Uh, do we have, did we leave felt up in the, the mansion's got a, uh, tailoring room. Did I leave some over there? Let's go. Let's go check. Maybe I left some over there. 
Yeah, let's go with a headlamp for this. I think I grabbed all the tools. 16 felt sheets. All right, let's drag some more components over. Oh, uh, sure, sure. <laughs> One leather patch. All right, tailoring now we got options. I only need one thing. I don't really care what it is. 110 Nomex thread. Eh, I guess I care a tiny bit. Ah, eh, screw it. Focus 12. <clears throat> Uh, tailoring five. All right, that's all I care about. Now, let's see. Uh, activate. Tailor's kit. Repair. Sheath. That's what we want to see. Repeat until fully repaired. Hey, I said fully repaired. Oh, still repairing? What the hell? What was that? Oh, I didn't have the leather patches. Oh, that sucks. I only had that one patch. Uh, I guess that is a consideration. I forgot about that. Do, do, do. Tailor's kit. Repair. Uh, I thought my combat blouse was damaged. Hmm. Oh, I have two. All right, need a little bit of leather for my combat knife, for my sheath, I mean. Uh, what else was I? Oh, the, uh, now I remember. It was rollerblades. Come here, rollerblades. Activate tailoring kit. Repair. Rollerblades. Refit. <laughs> Repeat until refit. Oh, we already got it. Got it. Cool. All right. We got our blades fixed up. I just need a little bit of leather. Uh, probably some in the bedrooms upstairs. See if we can go track down some clean leather. Usually I grab a bit, but Ooh, sleeve with duster is canvas, right? Yeah, not leather. What about backpack with five items? Oh, that's right. It's just the kid's stuff. Synthetic fabrics. <laughs> there we go. Sixty four leather patches. That'll probably be enough. Ah, uh, let's assume that's enough for now. So five should be enough to get just basic repairs and all of my standard gear. Uh, that's all I'm going to worry about for now. Fab next. Where are we at on fab? 
Uh, three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. I'd like to get it up around the same four or five. What are you at? Two hours for one string and some 50 scrap metal. Wow. Did they change the numbers there? How about a tonfa? Oh, yeah. Tonfa, tonfa will work. Make a tonfa. I probably missed the uh, the message. Yeah, I did. Doo, doo, doo. Next up, a hollow cane. Sounds good to me. Only 50%. 50%? Terrible. It'll be bedtime by the time I finish this thing up. All right, we made it to five. Cool. Uh, let's ditch the junk items that I'll never use, like the knit cowl and the canes and the boonie hat. Probably the tonfa, but we'll keep it for now. I forgot where am I dumping stuff over here. Multivitamin. All right. Um, feeling very good still. Overweight. And everything else is fine. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> gotta get tired. Oh, I gotta blow off my, my mana, too. Forgot about that. Uh, let's do what? Not Toxitricity. I need something I can just insta-cast. I guess more... More Bless. Or do we do Synaptic? Higher difficulty level. Yeah, let's do synaptic. Uh, do do, and that burns it real quick. Whoa, bless has got AOE now. Ah, right, we're out of mana. And we're tired. Yeah, you want to be careful when you've got uh, martial art arm blocks. If you don't have adequate protection, you can end up with a broken limb pretty quick. <laughs> so there are times where you might actually want to not use your martial art because then it'll spread the damage around and not have one limb right at the stage of breaking. So be a little cautious there. Um, all right, so... Yeah, we do have poor fit combat boots. We'll get that fixed up. We should be high enough level now. More candle action. Uh, tailoring kit. Combat boots. Refit. 
You damage your combat boots. <laughs> uh, repair. All right, boots are all fixed up. All right. Oh, okay. We lost our lifestyle. Ah, not good. Not good. Don't want to see that. Got to get more exercise. All right. So we got the two skills done that I wanted. Um, Fab five tailoring five for now. Not going to worry about any of the other basic skills for the moment. Spellcraft, we're sitting at five, and I haven't really focused on it in a while to get it trained up any further. We've got some of our main utility spells at a decent level. It'd be nice to push them up a little further. Um, Synaptic and Magic being my two most valuable. Pure Light, eh, it's good to have. Saved us that one, or helped save us that one time when we fell off the roof, right on a, a wasp nest. Good times, good times. Still a little high on the fail chance here. And 235 men, I'm not sure. Did we, oh, actually, yeah, you're right. I think we did, wait. we went up a level, didn't we? <laughs> we were at, feels very good. I just remember it had, didn't it have three words in it? <laughs> I forget the actual hierarchy. We probably went up a level. We're more likely to have gone up than uh, down because I'm not mutating or anything right now. So, feels great and overweight. That's, that's usually what I am aiming for. Maybe we recovered from where we were down earlier. Uh, let's pop up top for a second. 9.30, let's do our daily reconnoiter. We have a decayed zombie in the area. Hey, decayed zombie. Where did you come from? We don't have resurrecting zombies because we don't have to pulp anything. Either way, we'll just make sure our perimeter is clear. If you have wandering hordes turned on, just do this, and eventually you won't have any, any hordes. All right. Um, what next? We're on day 74. We still don't have much trade value for the forge beyond my one ring. And that's a little bit of an odd one because we don't have... The things we want to buy, the ring isn't going to be enough from that particular merchant. And the other merchant can't give us give us enough uh, merch or coins uh, to, to pay for it. We lose a whole bunch of value. No, this is not a mega city run. If it's not listed in my settings, then I didn't touch it. It's default setting. I only list stuff that I change. So we're on 8.4, the normal city size and spacing mega city is more along the lines of 16 2 16 1 16 0 level up your speech scale <laughs> but i'm an ugly bird mutant with a screeching voice It'd be fun to have the verbal aspect of spell casting be tied to your speech skill. I guess that would be social skill. Not quite the same thing. All right, uh, let's do, uh, I want to get the rollerblades back out, see what the numbers look like now that they're fitted. So we are moving at uh, 56 cost. 
with our combat boots. Only down to 50 with the roller blades, so very little difference when we switch to roller blades, which is weird. And then if we switch to run mode, we're down to 14, 15. Yeah, we're down to 15, especially, essentially. Versus 28. So almost twice as fast running with the roller blades than walking, but a very, very minimal difference uh, when just walking between the running or the uh, roller blades and the combat boots. So I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. And this is without any spell enhancements. So I'm still undecided on the utility of those. Flimsy and bad back. Oh yeah, it's six strength, flimsy and bad back. <laughs> and hollow bones. We're loaded. We are loaded for uh, bad news. Flimsy, bad back, weak, no vehicles, glass jaw, unhappy <laughs> because I'm staying in the same place for too long. Just lots and lots of good times. All right. Well, let's make some decisions. So I think I'm okay. I'm done uh, checking out uh, skills for the moment. We're sitting at uh, 25 out of 32, essentially, carry weight available. We have locations to hit. I think we'll try to hit a few of the magic spots. That'll be an adventure that might kill me anyway. Uh, before we head into the TCL, I guess I need to decide, do I want to roll over and try to clear the goblin encampment? Um, we might look at doing that. So we've got an acid anthill right here, meaning this whole area is filled with acid ants, which I really don't want to mess with. Uh, which makes just transiting over there a little problematic. So I kind of have to go up and uh, I don't know how I'm going to get there. <laughs> but I'll just go right through the middle of town. And I do need to get some more food sourced. Actually, I want to do that. I want to make sure I have food before I run out. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, what do we got? Our BB gun and our Lucerne hammer. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go do another run around the area, trying to find something with some meaty bits. Uh, let's go. Kind of bend most of the directions. Directly around the mansion here, which is a problem. I think I'll this time go up this way, and then we'll come down and around to see if we can find something. Turkeys are back. Or did I miss this turkey earlier? Hey, turkey. I am your bestest, bestest buddy friend. You don't fear me at all. Oh, you silly, silly turkey. Silly, silly turkey. What are you thinking? <laughs> kind of feel bad. Does not fit in any pocket. That's fine. Put the knife away. Wield the turkey. Did I? Do I still? Oh, I still have charcoal going, don't I? Forgot about my charcoal. I am uh, looking in the wrong place. Hey, Charcoal. I forgot about you. Alright, fire up another batch. Drag Charcoal home while we're carrying a turkey. This is the way. Uh, I forget which ones I've put charcoal into. <laughs> 1,400? All right. You get the charcoal this time. All of it. Drop the turkey. Butcher the turkey. Full butcher. Only eight meat. That's like a day. 
Better than nothing. Let's take off again. Chipmunks are not on the menu. Lucky for you, chipmunk. Giant aphids, huh? I don't know that I visited this this cabin. I doubt there's anything there, but while we're up here... Ah, stone golem! No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, we should be able to avoid that stuff. Am I unafraid of zane deer? I don't have a problem with the zane deer as long as I can see them. <laughs> as soon as I see them, I stop moving. So it's not that I'm unafraid of them. Woodland Whites and Zane Deer are horrifying, but I am I can make myself faster than them, and they're gonna, I'm going to see them before they aggro anyway, so I'm not overly worried about them. Where they're dangerous would be if I'm moving like this near the woods and one a pack of them step out from behind a tree and they're right on top of me. That would be a problem. All right, yeah, that's uh, that's the bandit cabin. Two bandits, Stan Travis and Rudolph Lincoln, huh? Yeah, I'd rather not get shot in the face. Let's let's avoid those guys. See if we can get around this stone golem. Nope, he's directly below me. All right, we'll go back this way. Go under the stone golem. Hmm, wasps. Another nest. Man, the golem is just north of the nest. Lovely. Alright, again, we go south away from the golem. I fear the golem more than I fear any of this stuff. <laughs> Woodland Whites. 51, 52. Oh, more. Oh, I knew about those Zomborgs. We did not try to break in there. We've already killed the Zomborgs and dissected them. Got one malfunctioning CBM. But we haven't broken into this. See what's inside. I guess at some point I need to drag my torch over and pop that open. I don't want to try to teleport in there. Although it might put me... I forget what. I think it'll put me... Yeah, I don't remember if it'll put me on the wall or not. Then I can step in. Let's not worry about it. What's the lore behind the Zomborgs? Uh, zombified cyborgs. <laughs> The cyborgs are living creatures, so the exodii that is. So they got uh, they got zombified. They got the blob in them. Well, that metal structure is essentially a drop pod or an emergency landing pod type of thing. I believe that's the lore behind that. So that's their pod, and the stuff in the middle is the raw materials, something like that. But they crashed and died and then resurrected as zombies. <laughs> 